Hey guys, just want to get a uh, give y'all a little review of my Ohio Steel. I'll show y'all the brand. This is the well, no brand name there. There it is. That's the Ohio Steel ATV, UTV, or your lawn tractor, lawn mower. Uh, it's 15 cubic feet. I believe the exact model. I don't see it on there. I think this is like a, they call it a hybrid ATV dump cart. It's got a 1,250 pound low capacity rating. Um, just got this uh, about a month ago. Super glad with it. I looked at a whole bunch of them. Um, that's the back of it. And I'm loving it, man. For hauling firewood. Uh, on the video, this may not look. Man, let me throw my axe up here. So maybe about the length. Well, no, it ain't as long. It's longer than the axe. About. So definitely longer than your axe. Uh, like I say, 15 cubic feet. Uh, and uh, it works great. I ain't had no uh, no troubles with it. That wood on there, that's quite a bit of wood. And uh, I don't even phase it, man. It also you could hit this with your foot and this whole thing will dump up and it swivels so you could swivel it this way and and turn the back you know either this way or that way of course i ain't gonna do that because i would have to reload all this wood uh but if you got a four-wheeler or uh side by side man this thing works out great something else i like about this one you see i don't have a ball on mine i'm just using you know this method where you just uh slide it in there like such but you've also got this and pretty positive i didn't read nothing but this looks like that would fit over a ball then you slide it back put your pin in right here you put that pin in right here and that locks it around your ball um i imagine a one of seven eights or a two inch ball would work just fine so if you had a ball you got the option to instead of having to mount a tongue on this thing you just mount it on there like that and you're good to go so yeah man if uh this is a hundred times better than pushing a lot uh pushing a wheelbarrow um it does say you can hook it up to a lawn tractor i don't know if you're gonna i highly doubt you're about to pull a thousand pounds with a at least a residential mower but if you got a you know maybe a john deere five 500 series or 700 series maybe a maybe a three i don't think you're gonna be pulling a pulling one on a 300 series but i know you get into those five and 700s and then they, they do get extremely heavy duty built but uh yeah all in all like i say I ain't had it that long don't know if the got the best tires on it in the world but for the price uh these things retail at tractor supply for $3.99 if you can find one um, if you're looking for one I was told tractor supply told me they only order these in the spring so uh, I did get mine discounted uh, due to some uh, just some issues me trying to get it and uh, that, that's a long story but I ended up did get mine at a discount just because of uh, some some issues with tractor supply on their end so that was nice but uh, I was I was gonna pay full retail for it just because I'm tired of pushing wheelbarrows, and uh, yeah, this definitely beats it. It makes it a whole lot easier hauling dirt, mulch, anything, wood, dirt, rock, hay. Uh, something else nice about this: it comes pre-built in for these. That's made for wood slats to go in. You see, you got them going all the way around. You got three over here on that side. So you can build you some some walls that will come up that way if you're trying to you know stack something higher you can stack it up higher it actually came with instructions that tells you exactly how to build it um don't think it'd be that difficult i think you can kind of just throw some wood in there and run some cross members down it uh pretty easy but you know it did come with instructions if you you know were to need them or want to know exactly what you need to do and how to go about doing it so that was pretty nice uh other than that maintenance only thing i seen was uh 
some grease fittings down here on the tire uh i will say make sure you got a flexible a flexible grease gun the hose the uh extension it's gonna need to be flexible to get in there i got a metal one and i ended up having to basically destroy mine because i was wanting to use it and didn't feel like going to lowe's buy another grease gun with a flexible hose so i just bent mine so it would fit on there it took me took me a while to make that happen but finally got it but yeah all in all great cart man i'll uh you know after i get a we, we uh we run a fireplace in our house for heat so we, we we're going to use the hell out of this thing so uh i'll definitely try to post some follow-up reviews long term you know see how it holds up over the long term and let y'all know but as of right now got no complaints with it uh definitely recommend it only thing i might say is uh considering this thing's month old and it ain't left out in the rain looks like some surface rust is there i'm not sure if i got it like that or not so that might because I, I don't even leave this thing out in the rain i keep it under my porch so anyways all right guys well uh i'm gonna quit rambling and uh i'll post a you know follow-up review maybe next year maybe the end of this year see how it's still doing and uh let y'all know how it holds up over the long term all right later